The Draeger PSS safety belt can be integrated into the Draeger PSS 5000 DP and Draeger PSS 7000 self-contained breathing apparatus instead of the standard waist belt. The safety belt has been approved for use as a holding belt system under EU standard EN 358-1999. It is also approved for use in firefighting as part of the self-contained breathing apparatus under EN 137-2006 Type 2. The safety belt is used in the following scenarios. Workplace positioning, for example on revolving and portable ladders, as fall prevention when working on rooftops or sloping surfaces as self-rescue in the event of emergency. Please note that the safety belt should not be used as a regular fall prevention or fall arrest device. The safety belt consists of Aramid waist belt with stainless steel buckles, a hip pad, stainless steel carabiner certified for use with an SCBA, pouches for the lanyards, and auxiliary rings for attaching accessories. Additional webbing slings and or firefighting ropes are required, which must be tested and approved for the intended application. You must also be able to tie double figure eight knots, the munter hitch and double overhand knots or fisherman's knots. The safety belt can either be used as an independent solution or in combination with previously mentioned self-contained breathing apparatus. The connection is made via slide and lock attachment as known from the regular waist belt. Since you will be using the safety belt during firefighting missions, you should perform regular visual inspections, including after every use. This is especially important when using the safety belt with a self-contained breathing apparatus, SCBA. You should perform the visual check regardless of whether you have used the safety belt or not. Refer to the poster which helps you evaluate various types of damage and take the right corrective actions. Put on the SCBA. Fasten the lock on the belt and adjust the waist belt. Adjust the shoulder strap. Workplace positioning enables you to assume a safe working position and avoid falling. Step 1. Attach both connectors to an attachment point, for example around the rung and rail of the ladder. The attachment point must always be at or above hip level. Step 2. The lanyards must be pulled tight and should never be laid over sharp edges. Step 3. Connect both ends of the lanyards using the stainless steel carabiner of the safety belt. Now you can work safely with the system while leaning. When used for retention, the safety belt prevents you from falling off ledges. It can be secured by a second firefighter. Step 1. Use the stainless steel carabiner to connect the lanyards at the back of the firefighter being secured. The firefighting rope must be attached to the safety belt's carabiner using a figure 8 knot. The figure 8 knot must then be reinforced with a safety knot, such as a double overhand knot. Step 2. The second firefighter wraps the firefighting rope around a sufficiently sturdy point, if necessary around a webbing sling, using one carabiner and a munter hitch knot. This enables you to adjust the rope length, but only to a length that is just short of the ledge. Step 3. Now the second firefighter can secure their own safety belt. The workplace positioning is best suited for this. This prevents the second firefighter from losing their footing as well. Step 4. Ensure that the rope is always pulled taut. 
The rope can be shortened or extended to provide enough room for movement. Please note that the safety belt should only be used for self-rescue in the event of an emergency. It should only be used when other rescue and retention devices cannot be used or there is an acute risk to life. Step 1. To use as a self-rescue device, wrap the firefighting rope around an attachment point. Step 2. Connect the lanyards to the front of the body using the stainless steel carabiner. Step 3. Tie a Munter hitch knot to connect the firefighting rope to the carabiner of the safety belt. Step 4. The braking hand must always be on the rope. When rappelling, you must ensure there is adequate space between the securing hand and the carabiner.